Washington. We are gonna be profiling the lifestyle living in Snohomish, Washington. What is it actually like on the ground? Is this a good place for you to live? I'm actually driving there right now, so I'm going to shoot some footage and tell you all about what it's like on this video. Stay tuned. Seattle Hill Road, showing you this amazing view of some of our farmland here, heading towards Snohomish. Just beautiful. I've been through here and seen double rainbows before. Really nice. So the town of Snohomish itself is pretty well removed. It's surrounded by a lot of green space and there are a lot of plant nurseries and farms and agricultural concerns in the area. And then the downtown itself is composed of kind of a cool historic antique center core, which I'll show you on a Christmas video. And then it has the more standard stuff like grocery shopping and that type of thing. Okay, we are coming through Snohomish. So I'm driving north from Woodenville toward Lake Stevens and we're passing through Snohomish right now. So we've got a little bit of housing development around. Actually Snohomish has started to become really popular. There are plenty of million dollar homes out here. Historically this was probably thought to be a little too far to put into Seattle on a regular basis. But we've got um, a lot more people not commuting every day. A lot of people commuting into Bellevue or staying on the east side. And uh, some of these sort of semi-rural areas have really taken off in popularity. So Snohomish has a really cute downtown where they, um, they do like Christmas window decorating contests and 5Ks and just the local business community does a lot to promote tourism. It's actually been voted by TripAdvisor, I think, as one of Washington's coolest cities. Hey, my friends. I'm here in downtown Snohomish checking out some of the Christmas decorated window displays. Downtown Snohomish was one, voted one of the top 10 coolest cities in Seattle, and actually in the whole country. And they have uh, done it again with their very cute Christmas decorated windows. They have restaurants here, uh, wine tasting, beer, all the cool things to do. Plus, uh, they are an antique capital. So if you love kind of tucking in to find new antiques or different things to do, come check out downtown Snohomish. They have outdoor eating available in these uh, plastic tents that they have set up outside. There's a view of the river and uh, it's just quaint and fun and a great place to get out, do some shopping, support a local business, get some fresh air, some, some steps in and uh, support the local business community. So, okay, so we're driving through Snohomish. These are some of the back roads of Snohomish. And I just wanted to give you a feel for kind of the more rural spaces off the main drag. This is not the downtown area, obviously. This is where you can come and get a couple acres, get a couple horses, do some horseback riding. Uh, as we come down this hill, you'll see on the left, uh, a sort of a commercial farm out the side so they've got crops they've got uh, play areas for the kids with tires so this would be the type of a thing where you could come to a pumpkin patch and uh, do the corn maze and I think we might have actually gone here I think this might be Bob's corn maze but I'm not sure from the back side so um, but you can just get an idea of how much space is available Bob's Corn and Pumpkin Farm. So they've got a lot of stuff going on. You can see how they have the wagons so they can take the guests out to strawberry fields. I don't know if they have strawberries here. Pumpkin fields, corn fields, that type of thing. And there they grow some apples. So that's a lot of fun to see that going on. So here we are in Snohomish still. And uh, We've got some smaller houses, I would say, 
farm property out here. So big pieces of land, tendency toward older homes, maybe a little more dated, maybe a little bit more fixer of farm types of things. Uh, this isn't necessarily a big residential destination, although Snohomish, Duval, uh, Tarnation, a lot of these areas have been seeing a lot of price growth in the last couple of years during COVID. in a place where they can drive to Seattle, but it's a little far to have to drive every day. So, um, you know, we're probably an hour outside of Seattle with zero traffic. So, uh, if you had to come in for a meeting, you could certainly get there, but it wouldn't be a fun daily commute. My goodness, we are in the country. Services. Okay, so how does this work? Follow that guy. I think if there were somebody else waiting at that stop sign, we could see him. And this way we can take turns going under the bridge. That's cute. So let's take a look over here. Nice fencing. Something for sale up there. People choose double wide mobile homes as a quick and easy way to put a residence Three on something that's more of a farm. Right state route nine. They're undeveloped property. These are some newer construction homes. Somebody bought some land and built some nice homes here on the highway. And they're a little close to the street for my liking. Probably eight or nine hundred thousand dollar homes, I would guess. Another thing I'd like to add about the Snohomish area is just that this is a very freedom loving area. Unlike a lot of the Seattle politics that I've talked about before, this is an area where uh, they liked facial freedom during uh, the pandemic. They like uh, supporting small businesses. There are a lot of business owners and farmers in the area. They tend to be a little bit more conservative and just have different ways of voting, they're a little more red. So uh, depending on how you feel about that, this might be your perfect little haven or it might be a place that you want to avoid. I need to get gas. Oh, pick your own blueberries right there. Okay, and guys. In 2.4 miles, gorgeous. keep right towards Snohomish. We're going north. Look at these fields, it's so pretty to me. We have so many hills and trees and kind of foresty feeling areas. I love seeing these big wide open fields. If you're from a different part of the country where it's flat and you've got a lot of big open fields, maybe you like our forests and trees, but uh, there's something for everyone. And as we drive north here, you can see mountains to the right. That would be east. That's the Cascade Mountain Range. And then in a little bit, you'll see mountains north of us to the west of us is the Olympics on the Olympic Peninsula. So we certainly do have a lot of nice natural beauty in this area. If you look at the map of Snohomish though, the city itself is surrounded by a lot of green area and it's all largely because of these types of lowland fields. They tend to have a high water table. You can sometimes see puddling. Um, you'll see farms, nurseries, grass, uh, sod farms, that type of a thing where they can actually make use of all of the water, but it's not great for building because of the tendency to flood. We don't actually have a lot of flooding in the Seattle area at, overall because we're so hilly. Uh, we have a lot of lakes, the water just runs right down into the lakes, but in some of these flat areas, it is a different situation, so just be forewarned. The things that really make Snohomish unique are this kind of remote 
semi-rural location. There's not a lot of that close into the city. So for some having this very cute small town feel, the antique stores, the shops in a right-leaning area and an agricultural area just feels extremely different from being in Seattle proper itself. But you still have access to the big things like uh, the universities, the job base, the hospitals, if you need that type of thing. So it's kind of the advantages of a rural lifestyle while still being close to a big city. So if that sounds like what you're looking for, go ahead and check out Snohomish. Uh, otherwise, check out our other videos and I'll see you on the next one.